Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through social and economical impacts of land use changes, guys. Okay. So we, in the last lecture, we discussed about uh, dams and all those things, right? Okay. So let us continue. So the impacts on land usage. So basically, the people who are shifted from one place to another place, so they will be having multiple issues, right? Okay. So conversion of uh, farmer lands and forest to urban development okay so basically whatever a land which even today which you are staying that could be a forest previously guys so basically the forests farmer lands and all those things are slowly converting into urban areas okay so even that is causing multiple problems but the conversions are going on guys okay and the major issues will be soil erosion salinization deforestation and all those things like there are multiple issues so urban development has has many issues which are in turn related to the villages so basically the villages are slowly converting into cities and towns guys so that is a huge issue right so i'm not saying it should not develop but that's an issue right so because the greenery or the land which should be for cultivation and all those things is going to reduce at the end the population will increase and the food rate will be decreasing so that will be a huge issue in our future okay okay so that's what it is written here guys so land usage and regulations should be aimed properly and written okay so similarly land use regulations must be strict a balance between the private policies and the public interest should be there so basically whatever is being registered and everything should be in a perfect format there should not be no cuttings or anything else okay similarly environmental impact of land use changes okay so run off from my agriculture is agriculture is a leading source of water pollution okay so basically if the water is coming out of the agricultural lands if they are removed and if the water is stagnant so it is indirectly giving us into a water pollution right yes so draining wetlands from for for crop production and irrigation water division has been negative impact on many wild species so basically the wild species which are living which are living in water or which are living under under the ground like some kind of earthworms and all those things those will also be affected due to these kind of things okay so irrigation of okay so irrigated agriculture has has changed the water cycle and caused underground levels to decline in many parts of the world okay so basically if you take any kind of city like metropolitan city or normal city the city is completely covered with the road or buildings or any kind of things right so the place where the water can go underground the surface or the sand or the moist soil you can say so that you will be finding it rarely right so that is the reason why the underwater levels are really declining nowadays guys so if it is like this if the previously it was like this so now it has been reduced too much that the usage is more but the water getting down is really really less guys okay okay so deforestation and all those things will also be and greenhouse effect and everything will be affecting guys we'll be discussing about greenhouse effects and climatic changes in our next lectures don't worry about that okay so basically urban development will be causing multiple things like they will be establishing industries and all those things so which causes air pollution and all those things so basically any kind of changes in a land or from villages to cities and towns so it causes some kind of additional issues and problems guys okay so i hope everyone got some basic idea about impact of a change in a land use so basically previously the land most of the land is covered with the soil and there used to be no buildings guys there used to be plants trees agricultural spaces and everything right so in that situation there there used to be no issues but nowadays it's an issue right okay so i hope everyone got some basic idea on it so in the next lecture we'll be starting with climatic changes guys okay so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching